Welcome back everyone to Europa Universalis 4 as Milan, where we are at war with Mantua and Savoy. Savoy, after we declared war, was declared war by on by a whole bunch of people. So this shouldn't be too bad now that that happened. We've already secured one front. We just have all of our army in Well, the mountains of the Alp. Pine Mountains between France and Italy. I don't know what you call it. This area. Um, the Savoy, or, uh, probably. Um, half of our army are mercs, mainly because our manpower is very low and we're reinforcing very little. Uh, unfortunately, I would uh, put my merc army on here to siege. To take up... Actually... Yeah, I might do that. Let's see here. Yeah, I do have enough, and I can. Cathan Sforza. Uh, this is one of the th missions unique to Milan. Um, I don't know much about these. Uh things um decisions or pop-ups or whatever um hire her as a treasure she'll serve us as a commander or commandant so we get basically we get a cheap uh advisor i can't think of the words right now i'm kind of tired actually um so we get a treasure, which would be a administrative. So it would be 50% 50, 50 cheaper to employ. So level 2. And level 2s are usually 353. So we'll be like uh, paying one duck, one point something ducats. National tax modifier plus 10. Actually get the discipline. Yeah, there she is. One second. Sorry about that. But anyway, yes, that was uh, actually pretty good. So now we've got 5% um, discipline, which if we look here. Yeah, so ish, that's good. But back to what I was going to do, which was take one of the units here. Put our siege general on so this siege can go much faster. Their main army looks like we've trapped in uh, Nizza. Um, just checking on how much it... AE is manageable if we do this. And I'll release Montferrat as a vassal. So they can core uh, the land right in here and maybe here. Uh, so yeah, that, that looks good. Just have to wait for the Siege of Conio to resolve itself. Uh, Truce will expire. Uh, we've got a couple things here. Uh, yeah, get that improved relations guy. We're going to need him. Matter of fact, I'm going to want to put one more guy, uh, one more diplomat on all the outraged countries. Which right now aren't that many. It's like very little AE. But I'm going to want to. This is going to give us about 38. With a total of 38. Or average of 38. Let me see. Um, either way. We're going to want some guys in nations to. Uh, work on the relations there. Alright, looks like I can probably peace out Savoy. Just get Montferrat. And I cannot get out of this war, really. I did take a battle there. I'm gonna probably march in with the Mercs if I unpause it. 
Yeah, I don't, right now, I don't want to take battles with my main army, because I don't want to lose uh, manpower. So, Mercs, I'm going to have to remember to charge in. Uh, main Manchuan army looks like it's somewhere, though. I don't know where... Whatever is left of the... Ah, there's the Manchuans. And I don't know where the Savoyards are. Alright, cool. This way, um, the manpower here is only taken out of the manpower pool. Right, let's get rid of this Manchuan army. Alright, looks like uh, Burgundy pieced out. Yeah. And now we have leadership over the siege. Unfortunately, since we took a battle, we're not going to have enough To uh, siege it with the mercs and thus take the have the mercs take the attrition. However, we do have we do have no, we don't have the numbers if we do that. But Brabant, why is Brabant here? They're not not that I know. They're not at war with yeah, not anymore. Okay, that's odd. I'm mistaken. Yeah, I'm mistaken. The Brabant army for still being in the war. That's why I decided to take half of that army. But no. Although, huh? Looks like your alliance with Venice ran out. That's good. Manchu is perfectly fine with this deal, even if I throw in some money on the top for myself. However, that's a lot more money I can do a lot more things with. But then again, the longer I'm in this, the more time I'm wasting. More time right now is valuable. So I guess I'll go ahead and take this. Um, immediately go into here and release Montferrat as a vassal. And I do not have enough to core, or just yet. I can take a minus one to my Dipple power, I believe. That's my main regiment. And there's the... There, there's the uh, Mercs. I do want to go to war against Venice, though. Primarily for our uh, cores in Breska reason. Uh, I guess in the meantime, drill, and I'll figure out what to do next, besides Cormentova. Um, did take an extra fort. But honestly, I think that's a more important fort, so keep that. These two are obviously important. This is level 3, and this is a mountains fort. So those two are important. Genoa, I believe, is also important. It protects a valuable province and it's a hills fort so it's a good defensive one uh, since I need the money I'll sacrifice some Republican tradition uh, Naples is a rival announced me as a rival oh well uh, what's our AE looking like now that we did this yeah people are not liking us right now but none of them are None of them have enough AE to join a coalition, which is good. What state are you? Whole Valley. Okay, so I'm going to really want these two provinces to complete that state. What did Switzerland declare a reconquest for here? Yeah, Vada. Our conquest, really. Does Switzerland not have? Corazon? They do. Huh. And it's a recon it's a conquest. Oh. 
What the hell? Okay, Switzerland. Uh, I'm confused. Okay, you're only at war with Savoy. Okay. I get that. Or did it... It actually... Probably is... This is probably about it. It just named itself to Vaud and when Burgundy took it. Get the diplomatic power. Although in this game, uh, or in Italy, mercantilism is very important because you're in two really good uh, end trade nodes. France, you're at war with the Pope. Go right ahead. I'm not allied to them, but I don't really care about them. Oh, uh, let's see here. Unrest in Mantova. Well, that's kind of expected. Let's throw uh, this guy on there. Um, Luca, you are protected by Ferrara and Naples. Naples will probably be the harder one. 14,000, yeah. And I do have that conquest war. Yeah, that's right. So I actually have... CVs on everyone around me, which is good. Uh, Mod uh, Modena, Pope, and Luca. So I could probably, in a war with Luca, take Luca and Modena and uh, make Ferrara break off their alliance with the Pope. Or something like that. Or weaken the Pope enough in a war against uh, Venice that I could just go to war with. Uh, Modena without the policy involved. Ah, yes, that is right. We are also the Kira controller, so we have the ability to excommunicate people uh, that do, that the Pope does not like. So it could be Naples, but or Provence, but it needs to be someone. We could declare war on relatively soon and take land from, and it. I think if you declare on a excommunication war, it's less, C, uh, less AE. Let me do it on Genoa. Wait a month. The, yeah, I, I just, I have that feel. I Not that feeling, I just, I think so. Alright, cool. We are up to date on Miltech, which is amazing. Uh, we have recently sent a diplomat. Okay, there we go. We do this is 50% of aggressive expansion and 100%. So it cuts it in by half, and with the addition, by being not the emperor, but by being cure controller, we get another 20% off. So literally, I can probably take a, these two and probably, n or maybe just uh, Al uh, Albenga. Yeah, Albenga. I, I I am terrible at pronouncing these names. If you came here for uh, town or area pronunciations you came at the wrong place essentially but anyway probably can take this without getting a, a coalition declared or at least a little bit maybe a couple people surrounding us which we can obviously take or probably will never uh, uh never fire and if it even if it does we can take it on with our allies that would be pretty easy now, I really want to get Albegna before, say, well, no, if I get to Montferrat, we still take the uh, AE. It's worth a shot. What's our force? I also want to know what's our naval force limit. Already, 14, wow. I don't have the money, mainly because we took on another fort. Uh, Florence declared war, okay. Probably gonna have to do that myself. I don't want uh, Florence to take uh, Albegna. It might take Corsica, which is fine. Alright, and that should be an easy war for us. Uh, hopefully, yeah, Florence has got the Genoese Navy. Um, I do have, uh, I mean, I. My Republican tradition is pretty fine, but uh, 
I don't want to waste 13 on keeping our guy. What's the relative? A 111. No. Let's not do that. Um. Honestly, I think a bureaucratic candidate because Italy is expensive to core and we need as much uh, admin power as we can get. And we do have that bonus candidate. Uh, random candidate bonus. So, there we go. We have a little bit extra in Diplo. That's good. The Thorn has got their navy. That's good. Just making sure if I take this, only stuff for seven. Actually, I can take Corsica and be fine, but looks like uh, Florence has got it. <laughs> no, I don't have any uh, range on here. Ooh, that's right. Crimea declared war uh, for their holdings in the Black Sea. Nice. But yeah, I can definitely take uh, Albenga without getting a coalition declared on me. Hopefully the Pope doesn't die. 55. He shouldn't die anytime soon. I think we're done. Yeah, we're done looting. Oh. Okay. Uh, I'll... Put up to speed five to uh, uh, to get past the time. This is going to take a little bit with just these mercs that have just infantry. Then again, cavalry doesn't really do well in sieges in the first place. Um, Como, 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 you're there. Our base stacks for production, you have the same amount. So. Um, I think I can afford to piss off the nobility a little bit. And you do produce cloth, so probably want some production in, you, in there. There. Actually, I've got both the clergy and the bur uh, burgers, or bourgeois, however you say, uh, liking me. Uh, what can I give the bourgeois? Um, I can definitely do that for the extra uh, the black power. And I will actually do that, even though we're going to get a little bit of less money. But in... Actually, after this war, I can... Oh, that's just Aragon and Potency. Uh, I can just seize the land, take 5%, and I'll probably be fine. Ah, there we go. Money, peace. There we go. Ah, shoot. <laughs> Apparently, I did not core that. Anyway, or full core it. There we go. We we'll had the mercenaries take uh, take care of the little bit of a noble uprising, which is pretty good. And as expected, Florence took Corsica. Man, Florence is actually one of my favorite nations to play. It's gonna be sad. I'm gonna be sad when I have to kill them. I uh, lose 50 diplomatic power. Ugh, I don't like doing that, but I guess so. There we go. What's the maintenance on this income versus income? Pretty darn well. And here is, like, so damn good. Italy is an amazing place to play at. Unfortunately, you get a whole bunch of AE as what you probably have guessed through what I my caution. Oh, so Venice took all of uh, Ferrara. Ah, no, we can't join a coalition. Too little. That actually made them a little stronger. Hmm. And your allies are knights to Gassile and Bosnia in your trade league. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, Naxos is free. Ah, uh, that's. No, you're still a vassal. Oh, you're just transfer. Okay, you're just transferring power. That doesn't mean you're in the same trade league. I see that now. Okay. Let's see. If I declared by myself, I'd still be outnumbered. The Venetians ha actually have a whole pretty big army, as you can see here, 28,000. And that's because the Venetian area, the state especially, is amazing. 
Like having Modena and Ferrara. Mm, it only adds to it. What can I build, actually, thinking about it? Um, get some tax, actually, from Genoa and Milan. Actually, and honestly, let's see here. What, where is our uprisings? A little bit everywhere. Okay, so I'm going to have... the Merc Army on Guard Duty, or Rebel Suppression Duty, and I'll have my uh, regular army go up there and drill. Get a little bit of that drill, and a little bit of that professionalism. Boys Fabric K claims that doesn't really matter, because they're allied to no one. Um, have we insulted all whom we can insult to gain power projection. Just thought of that. I'm currently embargoing all my uh, rivals. Have I insulted them? I don't know. I mean, I can certainly look. I can't insult Savoy because we have a truce. I just certainly insult uh, Switzerland and Provence. Yeah, we did gain some uh, power projection out of that. Not. It's still pretty low, but in time we'll get to that point. Let's see here. Bologna, yeah, you're allied to Florence and Trent. Okay. Uh, Pavia, Pavia, Pavia. Right there. Again, the ma uh, base manpower. Seize the money. I'm all about the money right now. And with the money, I should build a grand temple in Parma. Should probably also focus on the trade buildings in those. Uh, the trade buildings uh, for some of the uh, trade in Snow and Trade Node. Actually, we have two provinces here in Venice. And it's kind of interesting how Parma isn't part of Genoa. I'm trying to think of it. I mean, I understand Mantua, Mantova, rivers there. I mean, maybe because of that river, but oh well. Let's gain another career card of candidates. Because we did get low in a Republican tradition. But I have got, actually gone over uh, my time. We've grown quite steadily, and it'll be even more. Um, overall, this was a nice little uh, time. Uh, anyway. That'll be it for today's episode, so please like and subscribe. If you want more, head over to the Twitch channel for additional content via streaming. Also, head over to the Discord just to hang out there. With that, goodbye.